Hello, I'm Helen and I'm a member of St Peter's Church, Elworth. I don't know about you, but my favourite time in the Christian calendar is Easter. I'm sure the thought of the chocolate eggs, the flowers and the simnel cake all help. But at Easter, what we really focus on as Christians is the love that Christ showed to us when he paid that ultimate sacrifice on our behalf and we remember how he rose from death so we truly do have a reason to celebrate. We've been very blessed as a church family that we've had our weekly services still going ahead with prayer and praise. However, as a member of the 6.30 choir I've really missed the joy this year of meeting together to sing some glorious hymns and the collective voices singing hallelujah choruses. With this in mind, I wanted to focus a short time on an old traditional Easter hymn that we still, still sing today. And that hymn is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Risen Today is much more than just a celebration of Easter Sunday. It's a reminder to us all of the cost which Jesus made for us. If you look at the words, each verse of the hymn celebrates the victory of Easter whilst remembering the suffering and sacrifice of Jesus. While singing this hymn, or indeed just reading the words, it gives us time to think of the battle for our own courage. And importantly, we can see from the words that Jesus is the ultimate victor at Easter. At first, it might seem that the devil has won, we see Jesus being eliminated from the world. But we are then encouraged as we see the power of God cannot be overcome by human death. By the power of his love and sacrifice, he overcame the punishment for our sin through his resurrection. There's an important message for us here. As we often struggle to see any meaning in suffering, we should remember that Christ chose to redeem the world not only through the glory of the resurrection, but through the sorrow of his suffering and death. The two are connected just as they are in the hymn. So when we are faced with hardship and difficulties, as we certainly are at the moment, let us remember that in God, suffering can lead to glory beyond our imagination. So let us remember the words, Jesus Christ is risen today. Hallelujah. Amen.